Well, first of all, tell us your name. I'm Emily Stone. You heard that right. In Emma Stone's first ET interview 20 years ago, she went by her birth name, Emily. It's pretty trippy. Emma gets into her name change with Nathan Fielder during a chat with The Hollywood Reporter. After the two played a married couple with reality TV dreams in the surreal Showtime series, The Curse. Hello, he sorry, sorry, hello, hello. Nathan's one of many who calls Emma by her real name, Emily, or the nickname M. And when asked how she'd feel if a fan also called her Emily, Emma says, that would be so nice. I would like to be Emily. I think Emily had just, Emma had just had a baby. Yeah, seems Emma's Poor Things co-star Margaret Qualley's in the know. So what's behind the name change? Emma says when she started her career in Hollywood in the early 2000s, there was already a Screen Actors Guild member named, yep, Emily Stone. Of course, Emma's fans also know the Spice Girls backstory. It wasn't necessarily because of her, but yes, in second grade, did I go up to the teacher on the first day and ask her to call me Emma? Yes, I did. Yeah, and did, yeah. Was it because of Emma Lee Bunton from the Spice Girls? That's right. Yes, it was. It was. Yeah, Emma revealed on The Tonight Show in 2018 her stage name was years in the making. That's and so growing up, baby? and I was super blonde, and uh, my real name is Emily, but I wanted to be called Emma because of Baby Spice, and guess what? <laughs> now I am. Wow. <laughs> Wow! So that's like pretty wow. messed up. <laughs> this just changed your Wikipedia page oh, right it's now. Pretty. But Emma's not the only A-lister who'd love a name change. Can we talk about my name for a second? Emma's fellow Oscar winner Anne Hathaway in 2020 also sharing her confession with Jimmy Fallon. I did a commercial and I and I and I had to get my SAG card, and uh, they asked me, "What do you want your name to be?" And I'm like, "Well, it should be my name. My name's Anne Hathaway." Like, and and I never. And, and so that seemed like the right choice, but it never occurred to me that for the rest of my life, people would call me Anne. The only person who ever calls me Anne is my mother, and she only does it when she's really mad at me, like really mad. Yeah, I know. And that. so I, every time like I step out in public and someone calls my name, I think they're gonna yell at me. So yeah, at least professionally, seems Anne and Emma are stuck with the names that brought them tremendous success. They're both engraved on their Academy Award trophies. But Emma, or Emily, didn't seem phased last month when she landed her second golden statue. I am Bella Baxter. I think I blacked out. <laughs> um, yes, I was very shocked. I still feel like I'm, I'm uh, spinning a little bit. So yes, it was, it's a, it's a huge honor and I, I'm very, yes, I'm, I'm uh, very surprised. 